Hey everybody, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you our two favorite ways to transport our bikes in our RV. We are traveling around the east coast of the United States, finding the best places to visit or vacation with your RV. We are weekend warriors, and this is RV East Coast. Welcome to RV East Coast. My name is Eli and today we are going to be talking about one of the three most requested topics in our channel. We're going to be talking about our bicycle rack and I'm sorry it's really windy today. It's just not, not a very good day. So bringing our bikes uh, is extremely important for us as a family because um, we spend quality time riding together. Uh, it's also a really good way of transportation for us when we visit different campgrounds to go into town and explore. It's a good opportunity for the kids to burn a little bit of energy. So um, we wanted a way to transport our bikes that was just easy and simple and that we can maybe just leave the bicycles in the RV the entire time. So after quite a bit of research and one attempt, I don't want to say that it was a fail attempt, but it was one that didn't work quite as I wanted, which I'm going to share later in the video because maybe it's going to work just, just well for you. But um, this is the one that we ended up going with. It's a Stromberg Carson bicycle rack. We got it in Amazon and it was about $165. I am going to include the link to that um, in Amazon right here in the description of this video. However, we don't have any form of affiliation with this manufacturer and we do not have an Amazon affiliates account. So we are not making any money if you buy it or not. So let's talk about the things that we like. My favorite feature about this uh, bicycle rack is that when we are driving and I am towing the trailer, I can look at the bikes right here on my, in my rear view mirror. Before this one, we have one in the back of the RV in the cargo rack. And although it worked pretty well, it never gave me peace of mind to be driving down the highway and not seeing the bicycles. I was always concerned that I was going to make it to our campground just to realize that we missed one of the bikes uh, or that maybe I caused an accident and I didn't even know about it. So I was always stressing out a little bit. So I really like that I can keep an eye on the bikes during the entire trip. Another thing that I like is that it was pretty easy to install. It took me about 35 minutes I didn't need any special tools and I didn't have to drill into the frame of the trailer. He came with these brackets that go around uh, the, the frame and yeah, it was pretty easy. So that is a plus. And the last thing I like about it is that it looks cool. It looks just looks like all my toys together, the, the trailer and the bicycle right there. Not to mention that when I put the GoPro camera in the top of the truck, it's just a pretty cool shot that you have seen in many, many videos. Now let's talk about the things that I don't like and the reasons why I have been a little bit hesitant to recommend it. I don't like that I am putting extra weight in the tongue of the trailer and that is not ideal. Also, I don't like that you need to be pretty tall in order to put the bikes and to remove them. So if you are a couple, usually the wife is a little shorter than the husband. It's gonna be probably the job of the husband to get the bikes uh, in the rack and remove them. Not to mention that the bicycles are also a little bit heavy. So you have to consider that you're gonna have to lift them to hang them in the rack. So that's something you, you probably want to consider if you want to get a, a rack like this one. All right, the next thing I don't like about it, and this is probably the main problem we had with this uh, bicycle rack, 
our trailer was swaying quite a bit it was a little bit scary because the the, the the rv was swaying and let me tell you we never ever had any sway problems with our rv um but this time i remember i had to pull over and go check the sway bars to make sure that they were engaged and and then i got back in the truck and we kept driving and, and we continue to have sway problems and that's when I realized that the bicycles were wobbling around and that was causing the nose of the trailer and the tail of the truck to sway and it was a little bit scary. I actually ended up removing the bicycles from the rack and putting them inside the RV. That was new for me, maybe it wasn't as big of a deal, but it made me a little bit concerned. However, there was a solution for that. I went to Amazon and I got this hitch uh, tightener, 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 whatever, you get the idea. So these little clamps uh, fixed the problem and after that, we didn't have any sway problems. Maybe I should mention now that I had to buy two of them because when you buy this uh, rack, you are, you are only getting the base. So you can use uh, your existing bicycle rack or you can also buy it. In our case, we got ours at Walmart and we got it a few years before we bought the RV uh, and it worked just fine. Um, I also like that when we go to a campground, I can remove the, the rack from the trailer and put it in the truck. That way, if we are going out for a bicycle rack, maybe around home, or maybe if we decide to drive away from the campground, we can take our bikes and I don't need to use the space in the bed of the truck. So there you go. That is our bicycle rack. Will I recommend it? I don't know. I think it's about 50-50 with the things that we like and the things that we don't like. So I hope this video helps you to make a better decision whether if you wanna buy this kind of bicycle rack or not. Now. At the beginning of the video, I told you that we had a different way of um, traveling with the bikes and is using the cargo rack in the back of the trailer. The brand is Swagman. I'm gonna put the, the model here and also a link in the description. It's originally designed to go on the cargo uh, rack in the roof of a car but I used it in the cargo rack of the RV. It was a good idea and at the moment it worked just fine because at that time Arlo was really small and we had this bulky seat for him in the back of Fawn's bike and the bike was just too heavy to put it on a, on a system like the one we have now. So for that, it was a pretty good solution. However, as I mentioned it, I never liked the idea of not seeing the bicycles when we were driving down the highway. So there you go. Those are our two solutions for transporting our bikes. And if you like this video, please help us. Please help the channel by giving me a thumbs up and maybe leaving a comment. And my name is Eli. This is RB East Coast and I'll see you in the next one. Hasta la vista.